Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This vehicle was brought in as the owner has a grinding noise on this vehicle they just recently purchased from a dealership. The shop found that the rusted rear axle was filled with spray foam, a worn out wheel bearing and a whole lot of other issues that the customer was not aware of, as they never got the vehicle inspected before their purchase. Customer states bad sound quality, as if the radio reception was bad. So let's check it out. Oh, that sounds bad. Ah, fixed it. This car was pushed in as the customer says it won't start. The shop diagnosed the vehicle and found that it needed a new fuel pump. The customer declined repairs and had his friends push it away. And this vehicle was brought in as a customer says they still have a rattle from the rear even after their friend tried to fix it. The mechanic found that somebody thought the rattle was from the exhaust and heat shields. So they used spray foam, a brick, some shop towels and microfiber towels to try and stop the exhaust from rattling. But all along, the noise was from their broken rear shocks. Customer states the passenger front tire went flat. He put the spare tire on and the lug nuts are only finger tight. The lug nuts are not tight as the customer installed them backwards. And this car was brought in as a customer says there was smoke under the hood. The technician found that the hood prop was stuck and wedged onto the positive battery terminal and melted the battery and some of the battery cables. Customer states rear left gate swing door will not open more than 3 to 4 inches. The technician said he removed the hitch and the door fully opens. And this car was brought in as the customer said the trunk will not close. The customer forgot they had rubber bands on the striker for the trunk, as they previously broke the emergency release mechanism in the trunk and used rubber bands to keep the trunk closed. Customer states check engine light and airbag light is on. The technician found this coffee mug underneath the driver's seat that caused the short as a non-coated rim of the mug rubbed through these two wires. And this truck was brought in as the driver says there's a clutch issue and an air leak inside the cab. When this car was brought in for an oil leak from the front cover, the technician also found the timing chain guide, tensioner, and some other parts to be broken. The customer did not want to fix while the technician had the front cover off, and only wanted the oil leak fixed. When this car was in for an oil change, the mechanic checked the cabin air filter, and found that whoever previously replaced it left it in the plastic. And this customer's concern is that their vehicle is unable to drive forward or backwards if the wheels are turned, and it feels like something is binding. The customer had their vehicle in four-wheel drive high, which caused their issue. You can submit clips that you personally filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.